boys and girls. We've been learning about plants and today we are going to talk about the parts of a plant and what each of those parts do to help the plant grow. Each of those parts has a job. So last week we planted some bean seeds and look how well mine are growing. And now we're going to identify those parts. If you look at the bottom of a plant, the part that's in the soil, and I used a clear cup so that you can see inside that, um, inside that cup, you'll see the roots at the bottom of the plant. The roots, we're gonna talk about what they do. Then you'll see this long green stem. We're gonna talk about what the stem does for the plant. And then of course, we're gonna talk about the leaves and what their job is to help the plant. Now, one of my plants that I planted died last week because my cat, who likes to eat plants, bit the top of the plant off. So I pulled that dead plant out and look what I see here. Isn't that cool? I can see the roots all hanging here from the bottom and I can see the stem. So it's kind of fun to see what those roots really look like. All right, so I'm going to do a little project today and we are going to make another pop-up book. You know I love pop-up books. For this pop-up book, you just need two pieces of paper, some crayons, a pencil, and your brain. Okay, so we're going to take those two pieces of paper and we're going to stack them. Look at down, look here close. We're going to stack them so that they're about, I don't know, an inch or two like that. See that? And then I'm going to take the top half, let me just stack those neatly, and I'm going to fold it over again so it's about an inch or two apart, and I'm just going to press down at the top. Okay. And then I'm going to take the stapler, and I'm going to add two staples. If you don't have a stapler, it'll still stay together. Don't worry. Okay, so now I have a flip-up book. Look at that. See, my flip-up book is going to have four pages. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a plant. So on the bottom part, I'm going to color this part all brown because this is going to be my what? What do we plant a plant in? If you said soil, you are right. So I'm drawing some soil at the bottom of my plant. Okay. Then in the next one right here, I want you to draw a stem. So we're going to draw a stem right here. I'm going to draw a stem right here in the middle. I'm going to draw a big fat green stem. Okay, in the next one. Then in my next rectangle right here, I'm going to keep going with my stem, but I'm going to add some leaves. So I'm going to add a leaf over here. And I'm going to add a leaf over here. You can add as many leaves as you want in this part. Okay, and then I'm going to keep going. I'm going to make my stem a little bit taller. And then at the top, I think I'm going to make this plant a flower. And I'm going to put a flower up here on the top. Okay, and I'm going to color that in. And then I see I forgot to draw one of my parts. I'm going to show you what I forgot. All right. All right, we're going to go back and draw in the part I missed down here in the soil. What did I say grows down here in the soil? The roots. So I'm going to draw those in. Now, if I use a white crayon, it won't show up. So I'm going to use a black crayon to draw my roots at the bottom. All right, now, as we've been learning about informational text, one of the things we learned is that we have labels in informational text. So I'm gonna go ahead and label the parts of my plant. So right here, I'm gonna draw an arrow. Oh, I see that's not gonna work very well. Let me try a pencil. So I'm going to put an arrow, and I'm gonna write, Oh, that is not showing up. Let me try it with a black crayon. That's better. I'm gonna write roots, because there is my roots. Then on this one, what am I gonna label this? You are right, the stem. So I'm gonna label that the stem. St, st, there's an ST blend, st, e, 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 stem. And this one, I'm gonna 
put an arrow and I'm gonna label it, you're right, leaves. Ooh. And now it's an E-A. E-A in the middle of the word sometimes makes a long E, sign, long e sound also. Leave. And then we have a silent E and an S. It's okay to ask a grown up how to spell that hard word. So we have the roots, we have the stem, we have the leaves, and of course up here we have a flower, or we might have a green bean, or a cucumber, whatever you decide to make your plant. I'm making mine a flower. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give my book a title and then we're gonna write inside of our book. I'm gonna call my book the, T-H-E, sight word, the parts of, sight word, O-F, the parts of a pl, 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 PL blend, ant. We know it has that an hiding inside and a T, so the parts of a plant. And I'm just gonna put a little thing around it here because usually the title has its own page, but this book, we only have four pages. So it's called The Parts of a Plant. Now it looks like my book is done, but it's not, because now we have to tell what each of these parts is and what they do for the plant, so roots. So watch, I'm gonna lift up from the bottom and I'm gonna write the job of the plant, the roots right in here, sorry. So I'm gonna write the roots hold the plant in place. Because once you pull the roots out like this, guess what would happen to the plant? Zoop, it would tip right over. So the roots hold the plant in place. So that's what I'm gonna write. The, with a capital T, the roots, R O O T S. The roots hold, H O O D. The roots hold the plant. By now, I've memorized that word because we've been working on plants for a while now. The roots hold the plant in, word, ball, word, or sight word, in place. Pl, 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 p, l. Place, and it sounds like an S, but this time it's a C with a silent E. The roots hold the plant in place. So I told that job. Now I'm gonna flip a page down. Ooh, the stem. I have to put the job of the stem. Okay, the stem has a very important job. Think about it. When we have a real plant, we pour the water in the soil, right? And then the roots are gonna soak that water up like a sponge. But then where does the water go? Well, it goes right up the stem. The stem is like a straw. Can you make a straw sucking sound like this? The straw sucks that water right up and brings the water to the rest of the plant that needs it. That's a very important job. So let's write the stem, again with a capital T because it's the beginning of my sentence. The stem sucks, uh, 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 you, and it's a CK. The stem sucks up the water. Again, you might wanna ask a grown up how to spell water. The stem sucks up the water like L-I-K-E, that's an easy word. A, straw, there's a triple blend, stra, stra, S, T, and R, straw. And I'm gonna put an exclamation point because that one's kind of fun and exciting. The stem sucks up the water like a straw. All right, I flip down a page and I have the leaves. What is the leaves job? And you see my leaf right, my leaf right here? and it's kind of got some holes in it. I don't know if you can see that. That's because my cat bit my leaf too. The leaves have, I think, the best job of all. The leaves soak up the sun to make food for the plant. So I'm gonna write that, the, again, with a capital T. The leaves soak up the, let me check that, the leaves soak up the sun, sun to make food 
for, word wall, sight word, for the plant. Okay, and then we have our cover again. So let's read our book together and we'll put our new plant right here next to us. The parts of a plant. So we've made our own informational textbook today. Flower, we've labeled it. Leaves, the leaves soak up the sun to make food for the plant. Stem, the stem sucks up the water like a straw. And last, roots, the roots hold the plant in place. Wow, we are getting to be so smart. We are plant scientists. We are learning so much about plants. So make your pop-up book today. Share them with me. See you soon. Bye-bye.